can actually punish this Kali for overextending. And oh, man. can we get the kill? Yes, we get the kill on Kali. And let us see if we can get the kill on Art as well. Yes, we get a kill on Art. We can actually tidal wave this guy and bump by Ymir. But I can lay down the hurt. And yes, I do kill a raw. And I will take it. My ninjas and ninjas, it's Biba Nerd Ninja, and we are playing Smite Beta with He Bro, God of the Yellow River in China. And let us see, is He Bro strong in arena? I just played a game and I lost by two points. Two points. I went 18 and 6, but the rest of my team, well, you can guess that they did not go 18 and 6 as well. But it was such a heartbreaking loss. Holy crap. So I don't know if I'm gonna post this. This was actually before this game, so if I do, I'm gonna post that video first but I'll think about it depending on if this is a win if this is a loss and we can actually punish this Kali for overextending and oh she exploded thank you Zeus for that and again Zeus is so strong in arena and last game was so 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 close we lost by two it was such a heartbreaking loss and we were down by 50 at one point and ooh, we see this Ymir he's looking to push out and so, I don't know, maybe, just maybe, we'll, we'll showcase exactly how it was played. And, oh, I thought I could hit that, hit that Cali, but no, she is sneaky. She is very, very quick. And we do have a better build than last time. I don't know, he's, he's going for me. Oh, they are going for me. And that's quite okay. And, oh, Sobek with the toss. But... I don't know. I'm, I'm not hitting anybody. What is going on? I am missing all my skill shots today. And it looks like some of my teammates are backing off. But now I have my ulti. And when I have my ulti, I feel invincible, guys. And there is a Kali. Kali, please push. Kali, please push. No, she's not going to push. Not today. And we just got to clear out all these minions for the Sobek. As that will allow him to go up and engage. But unfortunately, right now, I don't have that much mana regen. I just have to play a little bit passive and oh that Ymir dodging me again and he has dodging skills like a ninja oh there's a raw here and it looks like Sobek hit the minion he's about to toss a minion and <laughs> that won't do us much good Sobek what you doing you so silly and we can just keep splashing up Ymir if we want just gonna kill up some of these minions I do have no mana left and I'm pretty pretty slow and guys, I build my Hebo the same pretty much in every game mode. I build him with Spear the Magi first. And then I always build him with Sprint. And, well, until they, they nerf this. So I, I don't know quite yet what exactly is going to happen. Oh, there's a, a boar coming down. And it does look like... I'm going to kill this Ymir. Yes, we do get the kill off. And I think I saved the Artemis from doing that. I'm not quite sure, but... Zeus gets another kill. I think I'm 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep, 0-0-3. Zero, zero, I'm stacking those handshakes all around, guys. Handshakes are good, but what I really want are death skulls. And so hopefully we can get some more kills as this game progresses. Although Zeus is pretty good with his timing. Um, he knows exactly when to detonate. He waits at the very, very last minute to detonate. And if this continues, I'm going to have a lot of handshakes in this match. And I'm fine with that. And oh, I do miss that. They are targeting the Sobek, which doesn't do much. And look, Zeus timing his thing perfectly to get the kill every time. And I could use some kills myself, but I am content for now as I don't even have the Rod of Tehuti. If I don't get the kills when I get the Rod of Tehuti, then I have some reason for concern. What I can do is... Can I kill this? No, I don't have any mana. I can't believe it. I don't have mana. <laughs> Oh, that is why I buy the monopods, but it looks like I used them already. Oh, that is too bad. I don't have any mana. I gotta back out. And it looks like my entire team is in trouble for now. And I think I'm gonna get level 2 here. And I'm gonna get level 2 boots, get some extra 100 mana. That's 2 extra casts and extra speed, which is always good in my book, right, guys? That is right. Let's wait for some minions. The Ymir looking around. He's dancing. Look at him. Look at that Digimir. He is, he is a boss. He is a dancing queen. 
You mean you want to dance against you? Oh, there. Wow, his beam does so much freaking damage. It cleared out the entire minion wave. No problem. And can we get that Ymir? We tag him once. What does what is he building? He's building magical void stone, so he's gonna be very, very strong against me, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. Is anyone else building any magical defense? Bra, nope, nope, nope. So just Ymir for now. So it's probably not in my best interest to waste all my mana on that Ymir if I can. But they're playing pretty good defense in terms of, you know, staying behind the Ymir. It looks like Ymir trying to push, but he's not invincible. He's just a little bit tanky. And can we get the kill? Yes, we get the kill on Kali. And let us see if we can get the kill on Art as well. Yes, we get a kill on Art. Bye-bye, Ra. And Ra is going to back out, and I think we should all back out here. As we are right pushed up against the tower. Oh, triple kill. And, okay, all right. We should definitely back here. In Artemis, you need to go. All right, there you go, buddy. So this is much better. We are just pub stomping now. This is not a pre-made, by the way. I always do random. So 206, not bad for a Hebo. But where I really start to shine is when I get my Rod of Tahuti. That thing is a beast. 125 magic power. Plus 25% of my total. And Sobek, the solo king right there in the mid. And oh my god, he just got decimated. Holy crap. And there is a Ra and Artemis chasing us. We just got to Be careful. Can you detonate Zeus? I hope you can. And oh, I might actually die here. As I don't have much health. Nope, I barely get away with that. And so Rotatuity, I think the first level is 11. 75 and oh hey what's up Kelly oh, she is I'm missing all my skills on her I don't have my ulti quite yet so I'm gonna have to play a little bit more passive and got to clear out all these minions ow that thing hit me in the face that kind of hurt and where is that rotatuity 1175 no 850 for the first I actually should have gotten the first level um, and that was my mistake but it's okay. I will go back and hopefully I can get levels 1 and 2. Sobek looking to push. He is angry. He's an angry lizard dinosaur. What is he? He's a crocodile? He's a crocodile. And yes, he's, he's, he's looking for some vengeance, guys. And I shouldn't be in front. I should probably be behind the Sobek. And right now, we can play a really passive game since we do have the lead. And oh, it looks like I helped that... And oh, he gets a wonderful kill. And can we kill this, kill this boar? I think we do kill the boar. Can we kill somebody? Yes, we get somebody. I, I don't know who though. And oh, can we get the Ymir? No, we don't get the Ymir. But we do get the Zeus. The Kelly is angry. And we are getting so many minions inside their base. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kill all these minions. Oh, we get a triple kill. Holy crap. Crap, I didn't even realize I got a triple kill. Hold on, that deserves a I'm the greatest. <laughs> <An ally has laughs> <been slain. laughs> oh, we are killing them with a, with a significant lead. So this is not as fun as a close match, which is kind of why I want to showcase the loss. It, I mean, it was so close. I mean, it was so, so, so close. Oh my god, that Ymir just exploded. Look at that, he exploded in a pool of water and ice. That, is, that would be painful, I imagine. I, I've never exploded into ice myself, but I don't know. I would consider that probably in the top five most painful things in this world. I'm going to have to try it myself one day once I become a frost giant. Oh, I do miss that. And oh, there's a Kelly right here. And oh, the Artemis is still alive. But not for much, not much longer. Oh, oh, lag, lag, lag. Oh, okay, all right, got to back out. And that Sobek is as good as dead. I'm glad they're chasing him and not me. And sorry, Sobek. I really could have helped you there. But but yeah, that wasn't going to happen. And I don't know. I'm getting some awful lag for all of a sudden. And there is something called arena lag. It just randomly happens. And it usually happens in the biggest battles. Which makes sense. Because all the particle physics, all the like explosions and everything. And you can't really stop it too much. And what we can do is round up some of these guys. Oh! Oh no! Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to use my ulti to get out of here, and that's too bad. You can actually hit that raw. 
Um, no, that rod did use his immunity, and I might actually get killed by this lightning bolt. Oh, so close. And guys, guess what? I just unlocked my rod of two booty, and that is going to make me super, super powerful. Um, but I need to defend this time. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? You can't go in here without VIP passes. You have VIP pass? Show me your VIP pass. You don't have any VIP pass. And what is this? Zeus? 3-4. Um, so it looks like I was going to get a magical void zone to counter the Zeus. But it doesn't seem like he was very, very strong. And, oh, I do miss that. I can't believe I'm missing all my shots today. And if Ra, he wants to engage me, he's going to be very unhappy. Um, and there is a Zeus coming from behind. And, oh, I am creeping cursed. And, oh, this is going to be my first death right here, guys. I can't get away. I do think she has a Frostbound. No, she just has that Creeping Curse. And, oh, jeez, that was painful, guys. I definitely overextended there. Oh, we have a 50, like, what is that, 30-second cooldown? Uh, so respawn timer, that is pretty ridiculous. So right now, I'm still competing with Zeus for kills, and I should hopefully get more kills as the game goes on. And I think the person that does do the most damage is that Zeus. So I'm going to get some magical defense with that magical void stone. And it's going to lower the enemy's magical protection by 30. And I just won't be able to kill that Ymir. I'll be able to kill everybody else. And that's no problem. Because I have no problem focusing everyone else down. And oh, we kill that boar. Ymir looking for that freeze. And again, I can't really kill this Ymir. can actually tidal wave this guy and boom by Ymir. And Kelly looking to do some damage. And can we kill the Zeus? Yes! Oh no, Zeus gets the kill. And that is fine. His ulti, he did use his ulti for that. And so back, you need to survive. And so we are still doing pretty well. I mean, it's not like we're going to lose anytime soon if they keep playing the way they they do and they don't really have anyone to really engage oh my god so what are you doing um, and I will be right back and does Zeus have a gem of ISO yes Zeus and Rom both have a gem of ISO and that is quite annoying uh, but that is fine it is we are building magical defense against both those guys and I think those are the two strongest threats right now and Artemis can be a threat later game but as it seems like right now, it's just not doing much. Just target this human Artemis here. And oh, double kill for the Zeus. And Zeus, are you, whoa, 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 where you going? Where's your VIP pass? Yo, you can't just walk in there without no ID, no VIP pass. And let us go kill some more. <laughs> I can actually really use that cooldown, cooldown buff. And I think I will get it on the next time I go back to town. And oh, what's up, Callie? And oh, I am blocked. And oh, geez, there is an ulti going down. And there is an Artemis going down as well. But by Zeus, oh, that looks a little bit painful. And whoa, is this. I think these guys are targeting me. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that they are targeting me. And what can we do? Can we kill this raw? Oh, suicide! Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably really shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, I get away with barely a sliver of health. Holy crap, guys. That was... Oh my god, that put some hair on my chest. And let's see what we can do against this Ymir. That's Zeus. I don't like what he is doing. He is just laying down the hurt from far. And oh, I do miss, but I still get the player kill. 600 damage. I don't even, I didn't even finish my build. But once I get that Pythagorean's piece on top, it is going to be GG for all these little squishy guys. Again, Hebo does so much damage. Oh, I accidentally ran into the beam of light. Guys, don't run into the beam of light. In your future or in real life, people say that running to the beam of light is not good for you. Oh, how come I always miss with my water splash? I'm usually pretty, pretty dead on with my water splash, so I'm a little upset. I'm not hitting with anything today. And they are targeting that so back pretty hard. And oh, I get a splash and a splash. And the Artemis. Ooh. Looks like Thor is gonna back out. Oh, the Artemis. Ooh. 
can actually splash that. And, oh, this, this, there's a Kelly. Oh my god, what am I going to do? I can't get away from this. But I can lay down the hurt. And yes, I do kill a raw. And I will take it, guys. As I kind of trolled him there. He was looking to get that kill. And I killed him instead. He does have a physical... Why does he have physical protection? That makes no sense, considering that our strongest players right now are Hebo and Zeus. And so he should have actually gotten that Void Stone. I'm... What? No, <laughs> he did not. I guess he did. He did. I don't know why he would do that. That is interesting. I guess it's for the MP5, but he's dying quick enough that he doesn't really need mana. As sad as I am to say that. Oh, bye bye Zeus. Zeus gets another kill. Or death, rather. So Thor, we have Thor chasing down a Kali. And so now I have my Polynomicon, so I have to remember to use my auto basic attacks. As that will really boost my DPS output. And Thor, where are you going? And Thor looks like he is trying to do some DPS. And oh. And I just barely missed that. And oh, Zeus with another, another massive kill. Holy crap. And wow, he is just a dodging machine. Holy crap. And like that 470 damage against against Minion, who doesn't have much defense. And I think I'm by myself here. Retreat. So I'm going to have to just back out. What I really want is this Pythagorean Room's piece. I really, really boost my DPS output. Oh, I do get hit by that. Sorry, Thor. And wow, even with 60 magic protection, I take over 600 damage. That is pretty, pretty beefy if you ask me. Oh, I did get stunned there. Oh, I keep getting hit by the Zeus. Where is that Zeus? That Zeus is pretty annoying. And, uh oh, this Ymir is going down pretty hard, pretty fast. And, hello Ymir, bye Ymir. Oh! You gonna, you gonna, you gonna try, you gonna try something on me? And ooh, they do get the kill. I really, really wanted that one as I was chasing him down, and I don't even have any type of magical. Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, 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 hey! Where is your VIP pass? It's no VIP pass, no entry for you. And look at those sneaky guys. They're trying to backdoor me all the way out. And oh, I keep missing with my water cannon or my water spout. I have no idea why that is. Oh, there is a Cali in the. In the lane. Oh, oh, she's gonna kill me! She's gonna kill me! And oh, wow, that is pretty. Oh, that Ymir with a smack, with that digi hammer, and that was actually pretty painful, guys. And hopefully we can maintain this lead. And oh, I really want to outkill that Zeus. And we have only. I'm gonna have a 15 second cooldown, a respawn rather, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to outkill that Zeus. But Hebo still very, very strong. I mean, he doesn't even have to engage in the fray. He can stay pretty distant and still do quite fine. And it looks like we do secure the win. Good job from my team as we did have a good set of tanks, stuns, and crowd controls. So, oh, <laughs> that felt bad game. And let's give it a GG. And so, he, bro, he's very, very, very strong, especially at distance. But the trade off with Hebo is that you are really, really squishy. So, if they focus you at all, um, I played games where the Thor would see that I would have the most kill death ratio or the highest kill death ratio, and the Thor would just keep throwing down those tectonic rips right on my face every single time. He would rush the entire front line, run past Aryumir, and just, you know, just throw down the tectonic rift whenever I got in closer to my water cannon. And then, you know, he would focus, throw the hammer, spin to win, and then the, you know, someone would throw a long distance, like Ao Kuang would throw um, a tornado right on top of me, and that would just be GG. So again, the trade-off with the DPS from Hebo is definitely, definitely the squishiness so i hope you guys enjoyed the hebo gameplay let me know write in comments below if you want more hebo gameplay i love playing him i love playing him in domination i love playing him in arena and i'm st again i'm still debating whether or not i will post the i think it was like 18 and 4 gameplay that ended up in a two point loss i guess it's good to show the the real close games where you know people are both skilled on both teams um, except I did have two feeders on my team uh, but <laughs> besides that it was a pretty close game 
I do have 20 assists here. Zeus with 22 assists. Very, very, very close game. Very good match. And uh, we've. I can definitely get more kills with Hebo as the match progresses. But again, if I start with a higher KD ratio, then again, I will probably get items quicker and do more damage and get even more kills. It feeds a cycle that is pretty vicious in Smite. So guys, as always, peace, love, and ninja. Peeba Nutter Ninja signing out. Bye-bye, guys.